Welcome, guys, to the start of a new series as we continue to explore the East series. As we entered the series with East 8, the newest release for the Switch at the time, playing on the PS4, and were kind of enraptured by the craziness that went on. We then followed up with East 4, Memories of Salsetto, or at least one of the games that is considered East 4, which was its own kind of special deal. The origin of Adol, the Red, being called an adventurer. However, We've not got round to starting off Adol's story, his first adventure proper. Well, the series started 31 years ago with a remade, graphically upped version of the game called East Chronicles, which contains both East 1 and East 2. I imagine the first game itself was titled Ancient East Vanished Omen. So, with old gameplay in mind, because it will kind of preserve a lot of the, well, probably all the gameplay mechanics from 31 years ago. Keep that in mind as we play a game that I do not know what to expect from. East has been its own kind of action combat JRPG thing. It does its own thing. And we're going to find out exactly how it does it this time. As we step into a new game. The first adventure. Let's go, Adol the Red. Let's find out what's going on. As Falcon presents... Light and darkness, a disturbed and chaotic era. Good, you're awake. An 
don't strain yourself now. Your body is covered in bruises. So, you still hurting anywhere? Adol checked himself over. There was some pain, but nothing debilitating. I get some rest. You're in a clinic at Barbado Port. Hey, Dad, it's a stranger awake yet? Ah, Slaff, you're early. How did the meeting go? Same as always. No real progress. Well, the patient's only just awoken. Glad to see you back among the living. Glad to see the birds randomly stop for this guy speaking. The birds respect him. Ah, yes. Where are my manners? My name is Bluto. I own and operate this clinic. This is my son, Slaff. He found you collapsed on the beach and brought you here. We drove off the rebel that attacked you. It was a real close call. Ed all told Slaff his name and expressed his gratitude. Hello, eh? Good name. Don't recognize you, though. Where are you from? Adol explained that he journeyed from Promalok to Estelia by boat. My word. You come from overseas? Amazing. You're the first man I know of to get past the storm wall. What do you two think you're doing? Uh oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy. She'll chew you up. I'll chew you up, Slaff, if you keep making comments like that. The man's wounded, you know. Shouldn't you leave him be? He needs his rest. That's my Ayla. Always keeping us in check. You make a good point, my dear. Yeah, okay. I'll stop talking his ear off. Rest that battle. But know this. I'm not done with you yet. Under the clinic's care, Adol recovered quickly. Several days later. And so the game begins. You didn't think I was going to not learn from the previous East games and sit there like a lemon while a gigantic musical cutscene plays at the start going, again like last time? No, I learn, I adapt, I prevail. And so we have ourselves a game in front of us. It's quite interesting here, the birds just stop whenever Saf was talking. And it did look, it does, there's definitely not a T on the, on the, the L. Because people were going Slap, I thought he said, like, like, his name was Staff or something. I don't see a cross. I'm going with Slap. It's definitely Slap. Whoa. And Adol is a sprinter in armor. Life is good. Good morning, Adol. You seem to be in tip-top shape now. Oh, it's Dr. Pluto was saying that. I thought it was a lovely lady. Still, you should probably take it easy for a bit, just in case. Well, I suppose walk around town could do you some good. Just don't overexert yourself. For a boy who aged with steps so soundly, he must have quite a story to tell. Adol, the portside warehouse has become a home base for the town's militia. Slaff should be there. He can answer any questions you might have. Just be careful not to do too much too soon. Listen, Adol, there are monsters outside town, so don't push your luck, okay? Okay, I'll try not to. What will you do? I can talk to them. Okay, talk let's talk to Dr. Bluto. I just walk up to people, I don't have to press a button or do anything. Slaff is well on his way to making the town's militia a force to be reckoned with. He's always been one to insist on shouldering everyone else's burdens. A real stubborn one. He never listens to a single word I say. It reminds me of someone else in this room. Poor nurse Isla. Adol, I know you're strapping young lad and all, but please don't overestimate yourself. We don't want you getting hurt again. I need healing. But- But you're not hurt! Well, sounds like I can still open my injuries. I want medicine. <laughs> I'm really. I need healing. I want medicine. Sure. Unfortunately, we're out of the rent digitalis plant needed to make the herbs. But still, you shouldn't need any while you're in town, right? Okay then. I'll just leave then. Well, you seem healthy enough to want to be up and about. But still, take care of yourself out there, okay? And so we explore a game. We get into it not knowing what we're doing. Before I didn't mention as well the intro, this is of course a blind playthrough as we're continuing on down the East series, not knowing really what it contains for us at any point in time. I have heard about this game and it's crazy combat, which we'll soon find out enough. But let us, uh, explore town. Actually, what, other, what do other buttons do? X brings up my menu. It has nothing in the menu. Uh, if I press start, we've got equipment. We have none. None. I am playing with an Xbox controller, by the way. You can play it with, like, just your... Your PC, your, the mouse, if you want to. 
We got files, save load arrays, title quit. That's not what we want to do. That's where I do it by accident, of course. That's another way to enter items, and there's also the notes section. I mean, it definitely looks like an L to me. Slath, Dr. Blue's only son. Slath founded a militia to fight the monsters after they appeared. Those two go together, so we've got ourselves like a page of people. So I'm guessing we talk to people to add them to our log? Well now, who might you be? I see, so the young man that Dr. Bluto has been looking after. He must have been through a lot. But you're looking very well, that's Bluto for you. Thank you, old man George, nice to see you. Nope, and it seems I'm gonna bum into people, but they have more than one conversation thing. There's a fortune teller who lives in Mania to the north. She predicted the storm wall, the monsters, everything. If there's something you need to know, you should go visit her. She'll answer every question you could possibly have. Once you're feeling up to it, that is. Don't want your wounds reopening after all. So that sounds like a first port of call to head towards, if anything. So there's no jumping, there's no sliding, it's literally- Oh, am I trapped behind this old man now? Oh no, I'm free. Haha, I've got you, young adult. You cannot escape me now. Alright, well let's check out. All memories intact, life is good. We've only shipwrecked for the billionth time, but we're fine. Flap is working hard to keep the town safe, but in the end, he may just be kidding himself. Rather than live in fear of a monster attack, wouldn't it be better for everyone in Barbado to move to Mania? Hey mister, did you come from the mainland? Isn't the storm all really neat I hope it stays forever. If it ever goes away, the girl next door will have to leave with her family. Oh, I see your motivation. This is the town where I was born and raised. It's my home to even consider leaving this place. My child's safety is paramount, so perhaps Mania with its city wall really is the place to be. Rebecca married someone else? Who are you, Torrance? Hmm. Right then. Well, let's comb the town inch by inch. I can't take anything from barrels, it seems. It's old man Pastel. These little creatures are called Picards. They've been raised as livestock here for generations. Their meat is absolutely delicious, but they're real easy prey for monsters. So we raise them here when nothing can hurt them but us. They really are just like bacon farms, aren't they? Poor Picards. They're so cute. But they're basically just everyone just we eat them. We farm them and we eat them. Six months ago, monsters started showing up on the North Road. As a result, I haven't seen my friends in my ear for quite some time. I wonder how they're doing these days. I'll say, like, they don't, like, if Picard is, like, the mascot of East, in a sense of the mascot cute thing, they don't do that with, like, Moogles or Chocobos in Final Fantasy, for example. Oh, yeah, by the way, we also just eat them. Chocobo, Chocobo legs are divine. They don't do that. They keep their cute mascots inedible. For the most part, I understand. My name is protected by city walls, so it's a safer place to be. Okay then, thank you for the uh, talk. You've got a rock up on your roof though. There's a person here. Since the ships are all grounded, there's no wood to be had in the harbour anymore. I've been hoping to branch out into the silver trade, but that didn't exactly work out either. Bad luck all around. Chocobo legs probably are delicious though. Yeah, but let's not think about it. Watch out for the blue-headed demons out in the field. Be careless and you'll be dead. You're only human after all. If you're not sure about your chances of survival, then run away. Run like the wind! Sure. On the other hand, I hear they have some serious crime problems there. What's the fevery? Oh, we already talked to you. Is there any way in here? Let's check out this place. Ah, an old lady. My son and his wife live in mine here. They keep asking me to go live with them, but they must be joking. This is my home. I can never leave here, no matter what the danger. At my age, I have no intention of finding a new home. Well, stick to your guns there. Can I read books? Nope. I can't read her in a monologue of a diary. Since the ships are all grounded, there's nowhere to be out there are anymore. Oh, you, you said that, Marco. Go away. Polo. Right. Ooh, beer. Excellent. Before the storm all appeared, this bar was always packed. I can handle being poor. I just really hate being bored all the time. Stunning red hair. You must be adult, no? Dr. Bluto told me all about you. As you can see, we're on a bit of a break right now. The storm was not conducive to tourism, after all. So what is the storm wall? It's obviously what Adol crashed into to end up shipwrecked on his first adventure. Oh, dog! You can interact with the dog back in a 31 year old game? My daddy always talks about leaving his daddy, but why would I leave when I have so many good friends here? This is the girl next door, is it? I came here because I heard I could make a tidy profit in the local silver trade. Now I just want to go home. Damn storm wall. May its stormy progeny all suffer uncomfortable bloating. Yes, that sounds like a proper insult. 
One time, Barbados was swimming in traders like my husband, but they all tried to go home and got swallowed up by the storms. <laughs> I'm just grateful to have my family here with me, though. That's enough to keep me happy. Yet another island place where I have been marooned. Seems to be the kind of thing that happens in the East series, doesn't it? Alright, well, we'll talk to those people. Another doggy. I've been fishing here for as long as I can remember. Since the storm will appear, my catch has been consistently bigger than ever. I believe one would call that a mixed blessing. So is this where I'm supposed to be going? Militia headquarters, it is indeed. Lovely seagulls and everything. So have I missed anywhere? Nope. Oh. It's locked, but this is where you buy weapons and stuff. You can't lock me out. There's got to be a secret door. Oh, what? Well, I better head where the story wants me to go rather than explore everywhere. You're the one that's left rescued, aren't you? Fine right air like yours is certainly a rarity, yeah? I say, where is people? Oh, you're Slath. Right. What if it isn't that all? You're going to be moving around like that. Every time I stopped by, you were sound asleep. You must have been exhausted. So, are there any murmurings overseas about Hysteria? I'd love to know what people are saying about us. Adol told Slath he'd heard the land was cursed. Cursed, huh? That's not really true, but it's also not too far off. I guess we can't count on any support from the outside if they think we're cursed over here. We've got to take action. Anyway, I don't know a whole lot, but I'll gladly answer any questions I can. Ask away. Okay, you've got multiple topics. Barbado, tell us about your town. Barbado is the only port town in Stelia. It used to be just be a small fishing village until silver was discovered nearby, then it boomed overnight. But ever since that storm all showed up, no ships can get in or out. Our exporting days are over. So now it's just a fishing village again, for the time being anyway. At least everyone got some money from all the silver trade while it lasted, I guess. Okay, tell us about Hysteria. Hysteria is a small island country. There are only a few towns here, Barbado, the walled city of Minea, and Zepic village in the mountains. Long, long ago, there was also a town called Rastin, but it got wiped out by monsters after the mine closed. The place where I found you is called Whitehorn Beach. Mother of Pearl Pieces, wash ashore there. Great place for a stroll, safe for the monsters everywhere. What else? Oh yeah, Darm Tower. Asteria's claim to fame. Sort of. It just seems to kiss the clouds, doesn't it? On clear days, you can see it all the way from Promalock. There are other touristy spots, but they've been infested with monsters ever since the storm wall showed up. Damn thing really made life difficult for us. Another gigantic tower, eh? It appeared, let's see, about six or so months ago, the storm wall. The first storm started on a night when some trade ships carrying silver set out from Barbado. Buffeted by the storm, the ships were obliterated, washed ashore on Whitehorn Beach the next morning. We first thought it was an isolated incident, but the same fate's been met by every other ship since. That's how the storm wall got its start. And now we Asterians are pretty much trapped here. Most people have just kind of resigned themselves to their fate. But me? I'm too stubborn for that. It's about the militia that you started up. When the storm wall appeared, monsters came with it. Well, that's what attacked you that day on the beach. We call that particular species Rebol. Monsters first appeared on the road up to the mountain, but they began attacking the villagers soon after. Barbado in particular was hit pretty badly. Mania seemed just as vulnerable, but they've got that wall around them, so they're much more secure. This epic was spared too somehow. Suppose they kept the monsters out with some kind of mystical bell. We have nothing of the sort here though, so we have to take up arms to defend the town ourselves. Okay then. Alright, well, you be sure to come back sometime. You didn't tell me anything I need to know. Okay, you may have told me more about what's going on in the world. But you haven't told me about what I need to do. You're loving this game already. It knows red hair is awesome. Too right. Oh, seagull. I want to chase a seagull. There's a guy. Can I go across this? Oh man, I was thinking maybe I could go across the rope to break in through the chimney like Santa. Topical, considering Christmas has just been. <laughs> and steal some swords. Watch the surrounding area from here. That way, if the demons try to mount an attack, we can see them coming and get ready for it. Okay, so you're the watchman. Uh, I, I'm just going to point out, isn't it usually better for the watchman to be put near the edge of town? Not in the furthest in part with the water to your back. Like, surely near the gate would be better? Ah, well, whatever. I guess it's really high. Oh, we can go around the back of this place? Too bad there's no items. Alright. Maybe you need to find a hermit to give me weapons. Maybe I do. Well, let's keep checking out the town. They're not letting me in. 
All right, looks like this wall has been attacked in the past. Looks like I can go up there. Okay. So we leave town with not a weapon to our name. <laughs> Adol attacks enemies by running into them. His sword is swung automatically. I don't have a sword. Without pressing any keys or buttons. The success of his attack is determined by his trajectory and will be angle of impact. A head-on strike will likely cause Adol to take damage, but the enemy struck off center or from an odd angle will attack will prove successful. Enemies can also be struck from behind or from the side with little risk of resistance, but this technique can backfire if Adol is put against an enemy with a large amount of health since it will quickly turn to face his attacker. Don't attack head-on, attack off center. That's how we do it. You enjoying the music, guys? It's loud, isn't it? So, do I just have to make it to my Nia? Can I attack? It seems I can still punch people. Oh, so I tap that guy head on. But luckily, in East, of course, you get... You get HP by just standing still. And that's a uh, quite bit of... Bit. Am I going to kill... Oh, okay. I can beat things. Even without a sword. Except they just respawn instantly. So when I see a red line, that means I've taken a hit. Okay. It said something about blue-haired demons. But that's blue head. Well, I guess we just leg it past everything. <laughs> I haven't got a sword. I haven't got a weapon. It's time for us to dodge it all. Alright. Excuse me, Mr. Blue Sworded. You've got a weapon and I haven't. I need some armor or something, please. Nothing over here. Oh, there's a tree, man. Nothing over here. I'll stay away from that guy. We've been forewarned, after all. The game plays still stupidly fast. When you think it's a 31-year-old game, of course it's been upscaled and probably been added tempo to it. Of course, you'd only have had like four directions back in the day. Right, money at gate. 70, 50, 750 melee away? And Barbados Port is 5 Kimelier. 750 melee isn't that far, though. Trimelier is a bit further, I'm pretty sure. Kilometers versus meters. So, this is it. Manea Gate, just ahead. Oh, we made it safely. Maybe in this town I can find a weapon. Now, that's the thing of old games as well, isn't it? They just set you off and go, have some fun. I'm glad that was the gate. It looked like it should be, considering this bridge here. But of course, you can't see the entrance for definite, can you? Right, the town of Manea! Mister, are you a swordsman? <laughs> well, the fortune teller lady has been looking for a travelling swordsman. Please go and see her. Oh, uh, okay. This must be what I am. I'm guessing she's not at the pub. Right, which, which is the travelling fortune teller's house, little girl? Give me some directions, please. This looks like an item shop. I guess we explore more to find out, don't we? My father is the mayor of Zepic Village, the north. Lately, he's been a little preoccupied with something, though. Last time I saw him, he was all like, the villagers mustn't hear of this. Please, if you go to Zepic Village, would you talk to him for me? Sounds like a side quest. You must not go to the mine. The monsters there are extremely powerful. You'll be killed for certain. It's fortunate for us that they never venture outside. Word is, they can't stand daylight. Is that something I can use against them, maybe? It's a very fancy bet. Let's find the port, port, fortune, te fortune teller. That's definitely what it's called. The fortune teller's house would be a great idea. Uh, well, that's the medic's house. Oh, what are you running away for? Stand aside, please. There are patients to be seen. Me? I'm Dr. Klaus. Okay, uh, where are you going? Where are the patients? I want to know where the pa- Is he just leaving town, yeah? Okay. Bye, doctor. On the other side of the Northern Pass, there's a huge bowl-shaped crater known as Bagu Baded. It seems to be where the thieves are coming from. Guess they made their hideout there. By the way, if I had to guess about fortune tellers, maybe this lady? I am Rhea, a poet and troubadour. My priceless silver harmonica has been stolen I don't know what to do! I value it nearly as much as my own life. Oh? Up until now, I've been travelling in search of that perfect melody. I play ancient songs lost the sands of time dug from the depths of Estelia's long forgotten past. But without my silver harmonica, I can play nearly a single note. So we need to find a silver harmonica. 
We found quest one. I don't think this is a fortune teller's house now. <laughs> we can be up on top of the battlements by looking things. Anything actually up here? It's a beautiful view. And a dead end. Well, if you like your views... Is this Ayers Rock? Hmm. You're uncomfortable because we haven't stolen any of the village's possessions? Oh, you're not sure if it's an actual JRPG then, is what you're trying to say. Fortune teller! My mother and grandfather say they want to go back to their old home. They look so sad about it. When the bats are gone, can we go back to Rustin? The bats. When the bats that come out from the mine at twilight are normal. They ferociously attack both humans and livestock. This old man Harrison, but he's got a squeaky voice. They were the primary culprits in the destruction of Rustin. Were they now? We used to live in Rustin Village until the monsters raised to the ground. Anyway. 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 So there's no chests. We haven't stolen any jars. How can you call this a jar? And now, now, now we're talking. Is it like this? When the weather is good, you can see Darm Tack clears anything from the towers and other parts. It's amazing that our ancestors were able to build a tower that stretches up beyond the clouds. You're in the way of my store. I'm still wondering which is the fortune teller's place, because that sounds like... Oh. Definitely here, right? Is that a kitty? That's a dog, isn't it? No, it's a cat. It's a dog. My grandpa often tells me a stallion fairy tales. Oh, it's a cat! <laughs> Sorry, I mistook you. My favourite one is the one about the silver sword used to defeat the army of monsters a long time ago. Sounds like the silver sword might be the best silver sword. Oh, kitty! Stop per meow meow! Right, we finally made it to the fortune teller. Oh my, it's you! You're not from Astaria, correct? Did you come here by crossing the storm wall? Goddess says thank you. What is so long for this day? You're the one whom I've been seeking. Please, get your equipment in order and return here at once. I must beg a favour of you. Ow! Oh. I'm sorry I don't have any gear. I will now go to the shop. I'm sorry, lady. On not this whenever it's good. You can see Dump Tower. Yeah, yeah, sure. It's, it's fine. But weapons, guy. Get out of my way. It's Rosity's Weaponry. Ah, welcome. What will you do? Let's speak to the shopkeeper. You have to be careful when fine monsters. Never approach them head on. That's suicide. If you strike from the side or the back, even the toughest enemies can be taken down easily. Right, let's buy weapons. Which sword would you like? The short sword, the long sword, or the tower? Well, the tower is going to be better. Regrettably, the tower is from the Far East, and the storm walls made for stopping most difficult. My shipment was sure here, but it's still being catalogued, so there may be delays. My apologies. She so can't buy a tower yet. Let's buy a long sword then. It's usually better than a short sword. A long sword is well suited to combat, but fitting a true swordsman. Its workmanship is top class. 2,000 gold! Can I make some more gold somehow? The short sword is small, but it's light and easy to handle. An excellent choice for daily use. 500 gold, I guess this is where we start. Ah, thank you! Right, so we have ourselves a short sword. Life is good. Let's equip it. Oh, is it already equipped? No, it wasn't. Ah, I've got a sword in my hand, lady. Ever since the silver mine on the fountain was closed, the cost of everything has risen so dramatically. Still, it's not like we could actually sell any of our silver goods, what with the stone wall and all. Sounds like silver stuff is really good, though. Ah, uh, welcome! It's Dios! Dio. Offense is a great luxury, but defense is an absolute necessity. As such, proper armor is vital. They say the best defense is a good offense, but if the situation gets ugly, offense won't matter one whit. Well, I'd like to buy some armor. I'm guessing I can't afford plate mail. The plate mail is made of numerous interlocking metal plates. Heavy, but it offers unparalleled defense. 2,000 gold. Get a chainmail then. It's made of knit chain. Easy to move around in and well ventilated so as not to slow cook its wearer. 400 gold. Okay then. Thank you. Use it well. Right, well, how much do the shields cost then? Small shields made of reinforced wood. It's light and easy to use. Wait, it's made of wood! I thought chainmail cost more than a wooden shield. 700 gold. What about the middle shield? Made with leather wired into the frame. It's light and it protects splendidly. That's 2,000. And is the large shield also washed ashore? Large shield is made of steel. It's durable and can stand up to any attack thrown at you. 6,000 gold. How can chainmail cost less? Oh, well, at least I got some armor, I guess. 
So that up my strength and defense by five. I am complaining about prices already. Right, we've got our equipment mostly in order, apart from we need 700 gold. Is there any way I can get gold? Money that hasn't ancient history, I suppose. These walls were built a very long time ago. It's like a miracle that people back then could build huge stone ramparts like these. When the monsters started attacking, a lot of people moved here from Rastin and Barbada Port. And yeah, my near is protected by walls, but we can't just shut ourselves away in here. We've got to fight back. Well, I would. Someone give me, like, a side quest or a job to do for some moolah, and then I'll go get my gear in order. That'd be great. So I've already been in here. Can I fall down the there? No. Nope. Not long ago, I saw a stranger in town wearing a black cape with a real peculiar pale blue glow to it. Maybe I was just seeing things. I don't know, but it still gave me the shivers either way. Oh? Hints. Hints are given. We haven't been in here yet. This Klaus's clinic! Hi, Lisa! I may help you! Let's talk to you. It's been quite busy in here ever since the monsters started showing up. People are always getting hurt. Dr. Klaus wanted to make a house call at Zevic Village since they have no medical facility or staff there. Which means he's in danger, right? How much does medicine cost? This potion is made from the red talus plant that grows on the mountain. It can heal any injury. It's 300 gold. I do not have enough. We got the harmonica quest, yes. But I have, you know, I'm obviously, there's going to be a little bit in between there. That said, when you think about it, the inn is generally the place where we've got quests in other games. And there's a lot of people here. There's a hell of a lot of people to talk to. I used to work in the silver mine. Six months ago, the tunnels were run by monsters. It's all because of those damn, doom, dim, dumb monsters that I got... I got nothing to do but drink up and out. Oh, damn. All I can do is get drunk. I'm a mysterious foremost tour guide. Or at least I used to be. That blast has stumbled and all the monsters have driven me right out of business. There was once an odd old man who wanted to tour the mountain ruins. This was before the stumble. He seemed to be a scholar. He said he planned on investigating Darm Tower. That was okay. Have you visited the fortune teller's house? I have. She may be young, but she's good. If you're ever in need of advice or guidance, she can always set you on the right path. So basically, the what I'm doing next, lady. Ah. Okay. Orman spirits. Let's speak to the one-eyed man. Ah, what to do, what to do. Uh, what to do, what to do. What's, what, 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 what? More than that, please. Ah, new face. Whence did you come, sir? Barbado, you say? Ah, you're the lad who crossed the storm wall, then. I heard about you from members of the Barbados Militia when they came here on their rounds. So I found a bit suspicious when I asked where you were from. Lately there have been a lot of break-ins, so I thought maybe you were ca casing my establishment. Well, you know, maybe I will. My name's Garrick. I've been hired by the city to track down those dirty thieves. Will you have a drink with me, yes or no? I don't know. He could be the thief and he's trying to get me drunk. I'll have a drink, yeah. I ain't learned much about the crooks, but I did find out that long ago there were rhoda trees in Australia. Never heard of a rhoda tree before. Caesar said to be one of the finest delicacies in the world. I'd love to taste one just once before I die. Don't suppose you've come across any, have you? He basically told me about the rhoda tree because I talked to him. So this guy there is Garrick. Your model looks way different than your model out here. You look way older here. Welcome. Am I a stranger? Don't worry, traveller. The city of Mania is a safe haven for the monsters. You have nothing to worry about here. Not a quest to be found. <laughs> <sighs> Man, this is good stuff. We haven't even got anywhere yet. You know that harmonica playing poet girl that hangs right around up those ramparts? She's real purdy, and that song of hers is also real purdy. It's mesmerizing. I haven't heard of it in a while, though. I haven't heard of the word purdy to describe saying pretty for an incredibly long time either. She's real purdy. The mayor's house, by the way, is so long up that way, but it's so tiny when you enter it. It's like reverse TARDIS. Right, so we've been in there. We've been in here. We've talked to everyone there. Let's go back to the fortune teller. Is that the mayor's house again? No, we, we've, we've spoken to these? This was really sculpted, scrumptious looking man the other day. No, we haven't. Real debonair, too, with his black cape. And when he looked at me, I swear I was scared out of my mind. His eyes were almost inhuman. Our bad guy, then? Well, hey, fortunate to have Dr. Klaus in our city. His potions really hit the spot. Anytime there's an emergency, he's always there in a flash. He's a true hero to us all. <sighs> right. To you, fortune teller lady. 
Please purchase and equip the sword, armor, and shield and return to this house. Ah! Okay. I can't continue yet. I need to get 700 gold. So I either have to go grind money or find a quest or something. So I'm still doing the right thing by trying to gather as much information as possible when you've washed up ashore on an unknown land. Since the monsters start showing up, all the children are prohibited from leaving the city. They look like they've grown tired of being cooped up here. But what else can we do? It's for their own good. My mother lives by herself in Barbados. I keep trying to tell her to move in with me since it's so much safer inside the stables. She won't listen. Right, by the look of it then, I've just got to go out and fight things. No one's given me a quest. There's no, like, chest lying around anywhere. Sarah's been acting rather odd lately. She's been going on and on about the world coming to an end. Who's this Sarah? The path around the town walls is pretty narrow. Transporting silver to Barbados port was a pain even before the storm will as a result. We've considered erecting a south gate, but we don't want to compromise the wall's structure, you know. By the sound of it then, I need to go find these thieves, which are up. Have you seen a one-eyed man around? His name is Donis. Damn fool. He's down and out right now, so he's been neglecting his work and he's run off somewhere to boot. You mean the guy in the pub? Can I get him to move now that I've talked to someone beforehand? I'm having trouble figuring out my way around the place. Let's speak to Donis then. Would you uh, I'm a patron of this fine watering hole? Sure, Donis, let's hear you out now that we've actually got the lead in to you. Someone in this general area, I lost a beautiful sapphire ring I purchased as a gift for my wife. Without it, I feel as if I can't even face her. Damn it, thieves. I wager this is their doing. Okay. So, we need to also find a sapphire ring. Interesting. I still think, like, when you see a well like this, because I've been watching Becca play DQ11, like, I should be able to descend inside it. So, a sapphire ring and a harmonica. That's what we're looking for now. Right, I guess let's get out into the world and start grinding a little bit, though. What's this shop? Pim's Pum. Ah, something you need. Right. Pawn shop. The thieves have been coming here, haven't they? And they pawn the sapphire blooming ring. As judicious gifts and something amulets. Thank you very much. Right. I think we see what's going on here now. Huh. Red hair is rare around here. You're not from around these parts, are you? I'm from the mainland myself, but I got trapped in this lousy island by the storm wall. I think I can cut you a good deal since you're a fellow foreigner. Okay. How much is the sapphire ring? Wouldn't this sapphire be great to give your girlfriend? I bet she'd be thrilled. A thousand gold. I like the wing here. Strange one. If you use it, it'll walk you back to town from anywhere in the land. So a wing gets you back. This mirror has the power to freeze monsters in time, but it's delicate. Use it too often and it'll shatter. Five hundred gold for that. So it's that we want. So we need essentially 1,600 in cash now. It looks like... Before the monster showed up, we used to always play under the huge tree in the plains. But now we can't do that now. Grown-ups won't let us go outside the city walls anymore. So it looks like there is like an alternate entrance to these places. Or at least a way through to a house section. We now know that this guy is... It's a pawn shop. It's what happens. Let's not go to... Yeah, you've told me about the mine. Right, time to get out there and grind a little bit for a shield then. How am I going to get 700 gold quick? That's what I'm wondering. South's my near, north is Epic Village, and Raston Village is 7 currently 8. The question is, which monsters are too strong for me? Should I be grinding in a previous area or not? Oh, did he give me a sword? Okay, that was 10 gold worth of monster kill. I should be going always at angle, shouldn't I? Yeah, like that. Oh no, I'm taking damage. I am taking damage. I'm getting small amounts of cash as I go though. So an angle doesn't seem like a good idea, but just off center seems best by a mile. At least if you want to grind money, you can grind it fairly fast. That's, that's about 100 gold for just fighting those guys. Who knows about experience and stuff as well. 
Right, so if I can at least beat these monsters with relative ease, then I can keep going forward and see if I can reach this peace village. It's the harmonica we want to find as well, isn't it? I got hit twice by that guy. That's not good. But get your HP back quick enough. Be nice to level up, really. That was straight on. Ten gold per blue-headed goblin. Nothing more, nothing less. <laughs> I'm missing. I got hit twice then, or once at the very least. Right, so north is Epic Village. Rest in mine is to the right. Maybe, no, that's still north too. South is Menea. What's over here then? Like, if I press a button, might I find something? Oh, there's a chest. Okay, there's a red dog next to the chest. One day I'll get this combat right. Oh, these guys give six gold, I think it is? They don't even give that much. Yeah, so it's definitely blue or bust. If I can loop my way around to that chest, it might prove quite useful for us. It's like the game has basically said, oh, go in and go in combat for a bit. Go and do that kind of thing. Come back later. There's another red chest there. You look slightly better equipped. Zepic Village, Northwest of the rest of mine, South is. Shall I just go to Zepic then, maybe? Oh, getting them trapped against the thing like that is not actually that good. I got hit twice by that guy. Oh, oh. Let's find out how much damage a red dog does then. Oh, it just killed me! Ah! Oh, doggy's bad! Ow, 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 ow! The dog of pain! The dog of pain attacks as Louis follows. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. Right, obviously did not hit it anywhere near right and kind of got pinned. Dog hits for six. Okay. I want to kill this dog and find out how much. Don't leave me alone! I want to get HP here. I don't even know how much gold that got me. Ah, the dog again! 